apologies for the delay. I have had some technical issues that have meant that uh, my my um, now I realise at the end, and then uh, I had to try and get that working so I could do the live stream. Um, but then my camera stopped working and then I had to restart and all this stuff. Obsidian's probably going to ask me to install a new update while I'm doing this. Um, but let's hope, uh, let's hope this all goes well. So, um, I wanted to pre-record because I think the morning internet for me is pretty average. So hopefully it's okay. Uh, I'm seeing it come in now and it's looking pretty bad. Um, so, but let's get through this, um, and let's see how it goes. So, okay. So this is uh, an update video for, uh, version 0.3.3 or 0 0.3 of, um, the Obsidian Ink handwriting plugin. And these updates, I'm just going to go through the high level ones. Um, cause it's a, an accumulation of updates that you would have seen if you're on the beta track already. Um, so, but I'll, I'm putting the, the big ones in one video because now it's released to the public. So I'll, I'll go through that now. So let's dive in and have a look. So I'm in a note here. I'm going to add in, um, a few handwriting things. So I'll add in a handwriting thing here. Another one here. And lastly, here. So one of the first things you might notice when you start using this version is that uh, things unlock with a single click. So it's just a, a bit more streamlined to get into things. That's drawings and handwriting as well. Um, you'll notice that you can unlock multiple things at once. So you can keep drawing in or drawing or writing in, in multiple embeds and they won't lock automatically. Um, I don't think we're going to run into any issue with that, but let me know if we do. In the future, I'll make sure these tools align as well. At the moment, you could be on the eraser on the bottom one or on the arrow on the top one or writing in the middle, and that can be a little bit confusing. So I'll align those in the future. Um, but that will come. Uh, probably the biggest one, my favorite one, is if you add in a drawing embed now, it... Uh, it is now resizable. So if I draw, I can resize that down and it won't adjust the image just yet, but once I lock it, it'll save that size and it'll embed it in that way. Um, so I can, let's say I draw something that's quite wide. So maybe I want a divider for my page. Um, so I'll increase the size of that to like fit the edge of the page. And now when I lock it, it'll adjust that to fit. Um, now it'll, it'll only ever go as big as you make it. So if I resize the page bigger now, you see it doesn't get any bigger than that. But if I resize it smaller, it scales down proportionately. I'm not sure what's going on up here. Um, that shouldn't be happening. Um, but uh, so if I make this smaller, there's a, a, there's a limit to how small you can make it at the moment just because these, in, these interface elements will get too bunched up. Let's make it that small. Um, yeah, again, it doesn't get any bigger, but eventually when I get smaller, um, it does uh, start shrinking. Another thing you'll notice if I add a drawing in is the initial drawing size, the stroke size, is the roughly the same size as the handwriting size. So I think that'll be um, handy for people who use math um, and things like that, use this section for maths. Um, but do note that if you draw something really small, um, it's gonna resize to fill your frame. So when you lock it, that stroke will get bigger because it'll resize up. Um, so you might wanna shrink that down so that it's as small as possible or failing that in this case, um, you could do a couple of dots here just to prevent it from shrinking down too much um, like that. Not ideal. In the future, you'll be able to adjust that camera more um, directly. 
Um, you'll also notice that there's a grid now. So there's a grid that helps you draw to um, while you're drawing. Um, but when you, if you want to turn it off, you can go up to the drop down up here and say grid off and it'll turn that off. Um, but when you lock it, that grid always disappears. Um, maybe if, if people want it to stay around, I'll look at it in the future, but um, let me know if that's the case. But at the moment, it's, it's a bit hard to do, so that's where I'll leave it for now. And that's it. That's the, the biggest stuff. A bunch of stuff has gone on under the hood. Um, and today I'm starting to work on some even bigger stuff um, because there's uh, some big changes I need to make in terms of how things are embedded. So if I click down here, you see it's embedded with a code block, which isn't ideal. I'm going to turn that into a normal embed. Um, and that's one that'll unlock a whole bunch of things. So that's what I'm working on today and tomorrow. Um, but that's it. Thanks for joining. Um, I hope you like these updates. Oh, actually someone did already put in an issue for this new version and said that you used to be able to select things and copy and paste them with right click. I thought I took that out a long time ago. So I was surprised that, um, that was still in there for them for a while. I imagine they were on a really old version uh, and then they updated to version 3, 0.3.3. Um, that is a feature that I know is necessary. It's just, um, it, can, it, it allows you to do things that the plugin doesn't support yet by pasting random stuff in. So I took that out for now, but I will bring it back at some point. Um, yeah, so just, um, just letting you know I'm aware of that. That's it. Thanks for joining. I'll see you guys.